Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the transient analyzer mode of the model 7300, which basically allows us to measure frequency versus time. I've already connected up one of our BNC signal generators that is currently set to 1 GHz. So in the transient analyzer tab, we can already see the frequency displayed. We can decide between a wide band measurement and a narrow band measurement. Both of them can be independently configured. We can configure the time span of the measurement and the time resolution. The time resolution can go down to 16 nanoseconds, which basically means a frequency measurement every 16 nanoseconds. And we can also go up to an hour-long measurement which can be used to track long-term drift. So first let's look at the wideband. On the left side we can configure the wideband range. We have the baseband of 5 MHz to 2.5 GHz but we can also select some extended ranges that go up to 24 GHz and allow us to cover huge frequency steps. For this tutorial I'm going to select the baseband as we are measuring only frequencies between 1 and 2 GHz. So let's go to the GUI of our signal generator. I've already connected it up here so you can see it's currently set to 1 GHz and in the background we still see the measurement running of the APPH so if I change the frequency here you can see it directly changing in the GUI. So now we want to look at the frequency step between 1 and 2 GHz. Um, if we want to look at the transient of that step, we need to use a trigger in the GUI. For that I'm going to stop the measurement and enable the internal trigger source. I'm going to select positive slope and we have a green point here that we can drag around which basically sets where the trigger event is going to be displayed. So let's just choose an arbitrary point in here and start the measurement again. So for the moment nothing happens because the frequency stays stable at 1 GHz and never fires the trigger. But if we want to, if we change the frequency you can see the trigger event was fired and we have our transient. If we want to take a closer look to the transient, we can use the markers to, for instance, mark two points here, which enables us to say that the transient period was almost 100 microseconds. And we can also take a closer look at the measurement itself to do some in-depth analysis. Okay, so let's look at narrowband. For narrowband, I'm going to reset the frequency of the signal generator to 1 GHz. And I'm going to deactivate the trigger source again, so we can see the 1 GHz signal here. Now, what can we do with the narrowband? We can look at small frequency changes within a certain range. So now this range currently is set to 1 GHz. If we click on the center checkbox here, we can drag around the center. Or we can also manual set it, so let's just set it to 1 GHz for the moment. And to make the signal a little bit more interesting, let's turn on an FM modulation. So let's go to the GUI of the signal generator again choose the modulation tab and I've already pre-configured a, a 10 kHz modulation frequency 7 MHz deviation. So let's turn on the modulation and you can immediately see the modulated signal on the right side in the narrow band. Now at the moment this jumps around a little bit so let's turn on the trigger again set it to internal and now we want to trigger at 1 GHz for instance. And we also have 
a green line that we can drag around which which defines the offset of the trigger so we can say that the trigger event should happen at this point. So if we start the measurement again you can see we have a continuous measurement that is triggered multiple times and the measurement itself is pretty stable so we can move around our markers and for instance see that the period or the distance between those markers is around 100 megahertz which which means that we are measuring a 10 kilohertz frequency modulation. We can also see that the peak to peak value is roughly 14 megahertz which is double the value of the deviation. So in summary the transient analyzer offers us a new range of measurement capabilities for the model 7300. We have a wide band and a narrow band to look at huge frequency steps in the wide band or very small frequency changes in the narrow band. We can select the wide band range on the left side in the configuration panel as well as the narrow band configuration. We can also select multiple narrow band spans to look at even smaller frequency changes and we have a trigger setup so we can stabilize the measurement and make the analysis a little bit easier. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your attention.